What it do, what it do, we back in this thing, man. I'm out here fooling around with this Tahoe. There's money to be made tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna get a head start today getting this stuff off. I got a guy coming by to get the hood, both fenders, and the core support, I think. He might be getting, oh, mirrors. He wanted mirrors too. So I think I told him 350 for all that. So let's back up a little bit. I bought this truck for $400. That's what I paid for this truck. Um, sold the front bumper for 150. Sold the center console for 150, along with the dash piece that's supposed to go with it. And I sold something else off of it. Oh, uh, two plastic pieces. So 150, 150 is 300. Then there was a plastic cover over this, and there was a shroud, little plastic shroud. That covers right here. That was 25 a piece. So 150 for that. 150 for the console. That's 300 Then 50 for them two plastic pieces. So I'm, right now I'm at 350 And as you see, there's a lot of meat left on the bone. So a guy wants to come by tomorrow. Uh what's up, bro? Uh, you try to sneak up on me, boy. He uh the guy comes by tomorrow and he wants the hood, both fenders, both mirrors. I think I told him 350 for all that and this core support right here so which i told him 50 for the core support i may end up telling them i don't want to sell that i ain't sure because if i sell this then i don't think the radiator has nowhere to sit so i don't know i got i got decisions to make but how often does somebody want a core support so you kind of got to get that money when you uh when it's available to you you know so i'm gonna start snatching this stuff off i tried to wait until Somebody bought the transmission, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna go that way. Uh, I've had, man, probably 50 inquiries about the transmission. I keep telling people, come test drive it, come test drive it. But I guess I'm just gonna have to end up getting it out and then just selling it to a person, maybe take a video, uh, which I, I have video of it running, but take a last video showing the mileage and all that uh, before snatching it out. So that's what I got planned today. Um, I wanna get started and get this stuff off it's not too hard i've done it before but uh the stuff that's not getting like the well i think it's getting the lights too but i gotta go back and read the message anyway it ain't gonna be too tough so we'll get it off and get this money so i'm gonna get started on that all right so we got this thing parked on the concrete so me and obs break and start tearing it apart gotta get the mirrors off uh already got the inside pieces off i thought i was gonna be able to just take it out this way but the plug is down in there so i may actually have to take this off which they're not too difficult to take off but it is one step that i need to do um but the first thing is first i'm gonna get off this grill and these lights and just everything that's in the way to get the hood and fenders off grill off lights off um now it's time for i guess hood at first then both the fenders and then i worry about the mirrors last but shoot man that's pretty easy 300 right there ain't it yeah, yeah. i end up i end up telling this guy i'm not gonna sell the radiator support the core support because once i do that there's nowhere for the radiator to sit and this thing even without the hood and fenders technically is still drivable i can still take it up the road move it around the yard and whatever so the little 50 dollars i was gonna charge him for the core support man it ain't even worth selling um, I told him, man, you can get everything else, but I'm going to have to keep that core support for now. So off with the fenders and the hood, and then I'll worry about the mirrors. Uh, get those door panels off and do the mirrors last. <laughs> All right, y'all, we've been working. Uh, didn't film at all because the GoPro went dead, of course, man. And the cold weather be just destroying that GoPro battery. So that's the passenger fender, upside down. Probably can see it better like that. That's the hood. Uh, he's not getting the grill. Uh, he don't need the grill. That was extra money. Uh, he's getting the lights and the mirrors. So we got all the front headlights, the two mirrors. 
and all I got to do now is get off this driver's side fender, and I think I'm almost there. Uh, I've been taking breaks. I ain't been out here the whole time. We just came back out here. Um, this stuff actually came apart pretty decently. But um, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier. Uh, he wanted the core support, and uh, I decided against giving him that. So um, for $50 that I was charging him, it's not, not even worth selling it when I can you know, keep the radiator in it and keep it move, keep it able to be operable, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So here, hold this, Bray, and let me see if I can snatch this off. I think it's about ready to come out. Put my gloves on, man. I'll be getting these little cuts on my hands. Bray messing up the camera, y'all. No, it's the self side. That one right there still want to be a pain in the butt. Let me sit this on top of something. Got one, I forgot one clip. Plastic clips, boy, they be unforgiving. Yeah, I'm sucker do not want to release, boy. Let's see if we can get this bad boy out here. Dirt on my eye. Shit. These are some glasses. Hmm. I get the wrong one out. You gotta be shitting me. I think I did. Let me see that, bro. Yeah, I believe I did. So what I want to get out right there. Let me get this bad boy off. I'll be right back with y'all. There we go. Woo! Did it, bro? Yeah. See it? Yeah. I decided to let him keep the fender wells. I mean... Just more junk, man. I gotta get out of that junk keeping business, so I just let them keep that. Uh, mine and my dually ain't in bad shape, so ain't no point in switching them out. So I can say I've grown a little bit. I know I'm gonna try to save everything, make money off everything, but yeah. who the heck gonna come and buy some fender wheels? In, in a fender wheel. Two fenders. Um, I think I can put this back on. I could put it in the back of the truck. That's probably what I do. But literally could put it back on the front. Because the clips clip into the fenders, but everything else just sits on. Here, hold this. See how funny that would look. It was like a mustache. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna put it in the back. Somebody come along and buy this mug. That mug too long. Stick it over like towards the back. I just don't want to like, like flip it over. So it'll hang over the over the back side. Should be good. Alright, he ready to rock. 
We can clean up our stuff and get out of this cold weather and get in there and play some 2K or some yeah. Call of Duty. What you think about that? Yeah. All right. Um, grab these pet these uh, metal pieces. I'm gonna let him keep those because there ain't no. We ain't got no use for them bad boys. So I think that's it. Mirrors, fenders, hood. I can put this box back in here. I can put a bungee strap on this and hold it up. Yeah. See the fender liner. Inner fender liner goes in here, but it doesn't actually attach to nothing but the uh, fender. So, yeah, I just take a bungee cord and hold this up to one of them bolts over there or something like that. All right. That's it for this. We'll catch up with y'all in the morning when Buddy picks up his parts. And uh, we're going to go in the house and call it a night. Yeah. Catch up with y'all tomorrow. Yeah, we big tripping, man, before we go back in. Just now realizing this light raises up like that. Look at that sucker, man. That would have been super helpful while I was taking that stuff off. That mug uh, is telescoping. <laughs> Telescopic, whatever the hell they call it. Damn. Man, extendo, extendo lamp. <laughs> <laughs>y'all we got that done we got everything bust down the guy came and picked it up that went smooth uh nice transaction i think what i'm gonna do now is take this opportunity to pull the green k1500 up beside this one and probably put them on the ramps and see if the torsion bar and the mount or cross member or whatever see if that stuff is the same because if it is then we can use this to get that one back on the road but uh before we do that we got to put a battery in it the battery that was in it was all uh it was actually too small and it was dead so i got rid of it i grab one of these batteries out and get it swapped over ain't nothing like a green top interstate man i always love to look at them batteries man crank it up right yes sir I ain't gonna tell him. Yo! Yo! You ain't gonna make that! You just think I'm supposed to just sit there and let them go to the, and tell them to stop? You gotta learn how to drive, man. what y'all think man cloth or leather what would you what would you go with man this passenger seat is real nice but that driver that driver's a little messed up but man those cloth seats they they kind of they kind of feel good man and this one's tore up so i'd have to fix it anyway but that one's good i think i like the cloth i think the cloth with the console would be nice what you think I know I got a console, super nice console to go in this one. Not the one that came out of that one, because I sold it already. 
But I got another one. Take this jump seat out and put a console in. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, reason for this little test right here, man, is because a lot of y'all have weighed in and said that, uh, actually said that I got a couple of trucks that might have that torsion bar set up. I think those Escalade and Denali, Denali's out there have it. But with this being an 04 and this being an 05, um, I think they're the same. So let's start on this side and we'll see. I don't even know if I could do this with the GoPro. Uh -oh. We'll have to see. I think there's enough light out here. Yeah, so you got a torsion bar, as you can see, it bent, it's not straight. And then we have this cross member torsion bar mount. It's dark under here. Let me take it with my phone. All right, I think I finally see what Dustin was telling me about all those months ago. You got this uh, torsion bar cross member right here, and it's bent. Bent right here and bent right there. Let's see if I can show you. I can tell on the other one. I'm looking at the other one right now. I can tell you it ain't bent. See it right up in there? Uh, hard to hold up my phone and try to point it to y'all. I'm going to go over there and show you this close up. But yeah, this thing is bent up. This is definitely bent up right here. As you see, the torsion bar goes through it. And you probably can see how it's bent. It's supposed to be center of that hole right there. But it is definitely bent up. So this bar has three holes. Um, mounts on this side. Torsion key. Slot in the middle right here. I think they are exactly the same. Oh, shoot. Get me a rag or something. Wipe it off and see if it has a part number. All right, let's crawl over to this side. Crawling like a, crawling like a snail. Ah, too lazy to get up. All right. So it has the three holes in it. One, two, three. Also has the yellow tag over there. Yeah, I'm gonna get a, Brad, go get me a towel. I'm gonna wipe that tag off on that one and then wipe it off on this one. But they look the same, y'all. Um, well, actually, oh, that other one mounted a little bit different, if I ain't mistaken. I think that thing mounted a little bit different with it being four, four by four. But it could be the same. This piece could be the same. Yeah, that torsion bar looks much bigger. That one compared to this little sucker right here. Super skinny. I wonder if the ends will be the same though. What y'all think? I hope I'm getting y'all some decent footage. See if I can take a picture of both of them. Back over here under the K1500. And I guess it does mount the same. I think it, I think it actually does. I swear this damn bar looks like it's bigger though. Actually, you know what? This would be the perfect time. I think I bought a one of them little um, caliper readers to see how thick a uh, part it is. Let me go get that mug and see if it'll work here. Bought this little thing right here. Uh, 
I don't know how to use it. But oh, there you go. And rotate it. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we got here, Bray. Thirty-two point fifty-five. Thirty-two point fifty-five. Yep, thirty-two point fifty-five. Come on. Yeah. Twenty-nine point thirty. A little smaller? Yeah. Oh yeah, definitely a smaller. I was right. 29.30. Close it all the way. Yep, read zero. So I think what the difference is probably the torsion key itself. Because the key go inside the cross member. So you got the cross member, then you got the torsion key thing. I don't know a lot about this stuff. I've just been watching YouTube videos. So you got the cross member and you got the key. So we probably need to use the key from this truck with the torsion bar. The cross member looks the same, but use the correct keys for the truck you need. But the actual support, well, no, we couldn't do that because we want to put this one in this one. Yeah. See what I'm saying? And this is the one with the broke torsion bar. bent torsion bar. Tell me what y'all think, man. This is all new to me, man. I, ain't, I ain't. We don't got all that stuff on the OBS truck. Torsion bars and torsion keys. Well, not on the two-wheel drive. I think the four-wheel drive's got them, I think. But you can tell I don't know nothing about this type of stuff. So, the, the support is bent. We know that. I think the support will be fine. We could, if we take it out of this truck, it'll work. Right. Then I think we just need to get a control arm. Actually, actually not. Think about it. If I was to take that off, either I had to take it off or I got to pay somebody to take it off. But if I wanted to put this one on that one, you got to pay somebody to take it off twice. So why not just buy the new one, yeah. buy a new one and put it on and be done with it. You know what I'm saying? Rather than pay somebody twice to take it off to take it off of this one take it off of this one put it on that one and you know what i'm saying because yeah. i looked up that bar i just wanted to see if they was the same the cross member part and brand new it was like 90 bucks and uh control arm is with a ball joint control arm is like it's damn near 200 so you'd be in 300 dollars. you know what i'm saying not yeah. not a deal breaker not a back breaker 300 dollars ain't that bad but um, I'm all in the shade. You don't be looking at what you be filming, man. Nope. Damn, boy. Man, I thought I was gonna be able to pay you as my actual cameraman, but I can see now. You just ain't got the credentials, buddy. I got it. Nah, you ain't got the. I got to obey. I... Nah, you ain't got the credentials, buddy. I'm gonna have to hire. I, hey, I, I thought I could hire within, but I can't. I'm gonna have to go outside the outside the company. Anyway, uh, what was I saying? Um. The bar was like $90 when I looked it up, the, the cross member piece. And now that I know those things measure different, I could tell from looking at it, I was like, man, that's, that, don't look, that don't look the same. But um, you got decisions to make, man. Decisions, decisions. Y'all weigh in. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me what y'all think. I've already put, aside from, I think I, think I paid 500 for this truck. I put 500 in it on labor alone. I think another 300 on parts. The uh, you know, cause it's already got some new parts on. If y'all don't, if y'all new to the channel, we appreciate y'all watching. Um, well, it got a new upper control arm. It's got a new uh tie rod, 
This is new. Upper control arm new. Uh, I put a CV axle on the right side. I see the CV axle new over there. So it's got about $500 worth of parts and $500 worth of labor. Um, if I recall, I need to go back through and double check. But, and I paid 500 for it. So you could say, I'm right around 1500 probably. Give or take, it might be a little less. It could be 1300 Uh, But I feel like, see it through to the end, man. I'm sorry this shadow looks bad over here. I know there's probably some terrible footage. But uh, I feel like, man, we gotta see it through to the end because with that thing being bent like that, man, you know what? I think that's what's causing this tire to be tilted like this. And if we can get a pretty good truck back on the road, I mean, hell, if we get it driving straight, it's a cat eye. I mean, we could sell it, really. You know what I'm saying? For big money, four by four cat eye in pretty good shape. So I gotta get it. I feel like I gotta see it through to the end. I gotta see it through, and get it driving straight. So if it's gonna cost another three hundred dollars for the parts, maybe a couple hundred dollars to put it on, I still be two thousand or less in this truck. So I mean. I think it's worth it. I think that's what I got to do. So y'all drop a comment. Let me know. Let me know what y'all think. That's going to be the end of this. Um, I think I found out some, some pertinent information. I think this was a good little test right here. Anyway, that's it, man. Like, share, subscribe. We appreciate y'all watching. Like I said earlier, if you're new to the channel, man, I just started posting back on this channel. Uh, I took a break for a while. Um, been posting on my 10 toes down channel but uh, if you're new to the channel man we appreciate y'all checking in watching some videos like share subscribe we're gonna holler at y'all later on peace